This morning I want to share from Matthew chapter 22 verse 1 through 14. Matthew chapter 22 verse 1 through 14. The title of the message is Our SVP. Our SVP. The title of the message is Our SVP. RFVP in the Lord and our training love. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. RSVP. This is a continuation of a couple of the messages that we've been sharing. I hope it's been a blessing to you. And I know the Lord is speaking through these words. If some of you remember, this was actually one of the messages I was going to speak last year in the uh, after the series on the church. But the Lord, Spirit of the Lord just directed it for today. This is the Sunday for that. Matthew 22 is, is the verse and the continuation is from these messages. We talked about double agents. We talked about how we are we can become an enemy or working for the enemy. We talked about the cry of Sophia, the wisdom crying out. We talked about the big W, the word itself, wisdom. What is the wise thing to do? And then that continuation of that wisdom keeps crying out, but there is a limit to the cry of wisdom. And that's what we talked about last week, the two-minute warning. Everything has a limit. And we are close to that time, we are close to the end of the age, we are living in the last of the last times. We talked about that in preparing for the next thing on God's agenda, the rapture of the church and into the wedding supper of the Lamb. That's what I want to talk to you a little bit about that, preparing ourselves to be ready for the coming of the Lord. RSVP. The court of King Louis the Fourteenth is where this kind of originated in kind of Versailles in the palace of Louis the Fourteenth. There was a certain etiquette that people were required when they were bid by the king, and this was this is how this came out. This is how it came to be. French And it's really from a French word. The, the text that we have is from that. The word itself means it's a French word that means please respond. Please respond. This morning the goal of the message is for us all to make a response. I'm going to try my French here for a second. Racon, s'il vous plaît. That was that. <laughs> Répond, s'il vous plaît. I got my ticket section. How was it? Anybody took French in high school? No? Nobody? Yes, how was that acting? Is it okay? <laughs> you can translate French too, right? Jim? <laughs> See, the word translator has to translate English, Malayalam, French, Spanish, all kinds of languages. So the practice of responding, and that's where we find our text. Let's go to our text. Matthew 22. If you have the microphone, Matthew 22, 1 through 14. So I want everyone to look at the text. 
Hallelujah. Don't look at me. Don't look at the screen. Mm -hmm. Look at the Bible. Look at your text. Look, uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 1 through 14. And uh, go ahead. Yeshu Pinayim, Avarodu, Uvamalai, Prasthavik Sandarnali. Surikrajim, Thandu Putra Nivendi, Kalyana Sathya Kaiicha, Uri Raja Avarodu Sandushu. Avar Kalyana Thandu Chanicha Vare, Vilikki Endudana, Dasamari, Parana Aichu. Avar Koo, Vai Vai Manas Aayilla. Pinayim, Avar Matthu Dasamari Aichu. Endra Muttaadam, Uri Kittu Dunnu. Endra Kalaalai, Thadipicha Murenduai, Vahatu. Kalyana Uri Kittu Dunnu. Kalyana Thandu Vari Vee, Endra Chanicha Vare, Avarodu Parayichu. Awal aduk putra kahai, urut dan dan dalat terlekum, macam urut dan dan lebih awal itu pun pukalam. Selesa mulu, awal dasar mari berdiri, abang mari berdiri kundurah. Raja aku kau berdiri, signing aku ayat itu, aku kulubah itu mari berdiri, awal dapatan aku cuti kau. Pini awal dasar mari orang, kalian orang orang ini ikutno, cerdik pun orang orang yogi tak hilang. Agi ada berita terlekum cerdik, kanan orang orang yogi kalian orang terlibat pini itu baran. Aa dasar mara beri beri kau boi. Kanda dusun mari, malu mari, semua orang putih pun bodoh. Kalian orang siapa yang berindu mari pun normal. Berindu mari dok pun raja wakat tuan dah bodoh. Kalian orang asal dari kaya tuh manusia ini abad kandu. Sinai kita ni kalian orang asal mila ada orang bodoh. Agak tuh bodoh itu, ekornya ni ini cuma itu. Ennah abad wak mudah tuh. Raja wisu susu karu orang, ini kaya ini kaya ini kiti, eh tuh perut tuh orang ini tuh tali kalau ni. Abad kerja tuh beli beli orang tuh, ini tuh barang. Beli kepat tuh orang, ane agar Praise the Lord. Thank God for the Word of God who it speaks for itself. I don't need to add too much to this. Jesus used parables, stories, illustrations to speak divine truth into our life. And He is explaining here to his disciples and to the crowd there that there is a wedding banquet prepared that's coming up and he's giving that parable. All of us are familiar with weddings but not all of us are familiar with Eastern weddings or Middle Eastern weddings, Oriental weddings. Back in the day when they had a wedding, there was a one year at least minimum betrothal or engagement period from the time that they decided to get married till the actual wedding day. There's at least a year, maybe more, of a betrothal, it's called, betrothal period. And that during that time, the first invitation is sent out right when the decision is made for marriage. But then during the betrothal, as it gets closer to the wedding, a second invitation is given to remind the guests, hey, the wedding's coming up, get ready, you're invited. Wedding is getting close. And we see here that's what the text has is there's an invitation given out as a reminder in that see and we see it in that verse two and verse three. We see he sent forth his servants, Munawakito, he sees the marriage for his son, and he sends forth his servants and calls them that were bidden to the wedding. That means they were already supposed to come to the wedding. Here they are getting an invitation again to come to this wedding. A reminder. Then RSVP. It's nice to have a big, long engagement, one year betrothal period. You get to know the person you're marrying, maybe. You get to spend time with them, you get to figure out what they like and dislike. You know where I'm going with this, right? What if you get 48 hours 
for a betrothal period, engagement period. What do you do then? I have 48 hours. <laughs> 48 hours. <laughs> and by the grace of God, we've been married to almost 28 years now. Thank you, Lord. All the glory to God. <laughs> it's nice to have a big, long wedding oh, engagement period. We tend to forget that time is coming up. So they're reminding the, the invitation is given out again to remind the guests. It's coming up. There's three types of people here that are at this invitation, this wedding. The expected guests, we see that in verse 3, 5, and 8. They turned it down. They turned it down. Jesus offered the kingdom to the Pharisees, the Jewish people. They were the chosen, they were the descendants of Abraham. And he offered them the first invitation. They turned it down. Third verse, they would not come. It's no big deal. Ah, we're all set. What's that verse say in verse 3? They would not come. They were the ones they were supposed to come. But they were relying on their goodness and their qualifications and who they were. Hey, we got this. We turn it down. And we see three, at least three, three excuses what they did there. Three excuses in verse 5, verse 4 and 5, we see that. Three things there that's happening, business related, house related, personal, material possession, and they took a little violent step also to destroy those who gave the invitation, the messengers. Those were the expected guests. Second group we see here is the invited guests. Verse 10. When the expected people didn't show up, the master turned to invite others and anyone by the grace of his own merit of his own desire he reached out to others and they accepted it and they came and they were the ones that we talked about in verse 10 we see that read verse 10 again if you would this was the master's choice. He did it of his own desire. Reached out to other people. Reached out to all of us. By his grace, by the grace of the wedding King, the king, the servants were sent out and said, Call everyone. Call 
ഇവിടെ താൻ വിളിക്കുവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിച്ച ഗ്രൂപ്പ് അല്ല ഇവിടെ വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് താൻ ആരെ വിളിക്കുവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിച്ചു അവർ ക്ഷണം നിരർത്ഥമാക്കി തള്ളിക്കളഞ്ഞതുകൊണ്ട് മറ്റൊരു ഗ്രൂപ്പിനെ കൃപയിൽ ആശ്രയിച്ച് ഈ വീട്ടുകാരൻ വിളിക്കുകയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ആ വീട്ടുകാരൻ വീട്ടുകാരൻ പറയുകയാണ് എല്ലാവരെയും വിളിച്ച് യഹൂദയ്ക്ക് പുറത്തേക്ക് പോയി ശമരിയിലെയും ചുറ്റുപാടുള്ള ജാതികളെയും സമൂഹങ്ങളെയും എല്ലാവരെയും കാണുന്നവരെ എല്ലാം വിളിക്കൂ എന്നുള്ളതാ നിലയിൽ വിളിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് ആളുകളെ പറഞ്ഞയക്കുകയാണ് ആരും കരുതാത്ത അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആരും ഒരിക്കലും ഗമനിക്കാത്തതായ ആളുകള് ലോകത്തിന്റെ വിവിധ സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലേക്ക് കടന്നുപോയി ക്ഷണിക്കുകയും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് ഈ വീട്ടുകാരൻ ഈ കല്യാണം നടത്തുന്നതിനാൽ അവരെ പറഞ്ഞയക്കുകയാണ് ഇന്ന് പകരക്കാലം ഓർക്കില്ല ആ വെളിയിൽ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങൾ ഉൾപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് but really it's the grace of god and the master himself calling out to us naam oru kaari thela poorukka nam chindikkarundu nammude chuttupaadukalu nammude pachathalam adinte okke base laana namakku ee vili kittathu ennallathu enna orkkai niravale samayam deivakumaran nammale vilichathu krubayal nammale vilikkuvayya thank god for the grace of god who reached out to us deivathinte kruba nammale kandathi avo deivathinte stotram cheyiga glory to god He left the city where the wedding was and told his servants go to the highways and the byways and places like Patanavaram and Gotarakara and Garmanad and all these places periyadum bere pronounce yariyadur thot bo ellavare vilikkuve call everybody good or bad nallavare dushtamane vilikkana ദൈവത്തിന്റെ കൃപ എന്ത് മാത്രം നല്ലതായിട്ട് ഇവരെ വിളിക്കുമെന്നല്ല എല്ലാവരെയും വിളിക്കുകയാണ് ദൈവം എല്ലാവരെയും വിളിക്കുകയാണ് ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ എന്റെ ഹൃദയം വിശാലതയാണ് My heart is wide open. I'm inviting everyone to the bay. നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സങ്കുചിതമാണ് അല്ല ദൈവം പറയുന്നത് വിശാലമായ വീക്ഷണത്തോടു കൂടി വിശാല ഹൃദയത്തോടു കൂടി ദൈവം എല്ലാവരെയും ക്ഷണിക്കുകയാണ്. There's a third group there. മൂന്നാമത്തെ ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പിനെ നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും. I call it the wedding crash. The wedding crashers. Wedding crashers എന്ന് പറയുന്ന മൂന്നാമത്തെ ഗ്രൂപ്പിനെ നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും. The wedding disruptors. ഇവിടെ <laughs> To illustrate this point, I've asked one of our eligible bachelors to come forward. <laughs> He's ready for the wedding, don't you think? Oh, you look quite handsome here, Adam. You have to put it on. Take it on. Okay, turn on. Doesn't he look handsome? Come forward a little bit. Come down here, you will get a little better. By the way, Jovan is uh, eligible, but not quite yet. <laughs> I'm sure his dad and mom will say, wait a while, okay. <laughs> Doesn't he look good? He's ready for the wedding. He's got the garment on. This is a Sharwani. 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 Indian dresses are so beautiful for the wedding. Americans just wear suits, right? This is all we get. മനോഹരമായ ഇന്ത്യൻ വേഷത്തോടുകൂടി ജോബൻ റെഡിയായി നിൽക്കുകയാണ് വിവാഹത്തിനോടുള്ളത് 
But little do we know that Jobin is a wedding crasher. Jobin is a wedding crasher. He's a wedding disruptor. Because underneath this wonderful Sharwani is. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Go ahead, you can take it off anytime. <laughs> it's going to take a while. <laughs> okay, so underneath the wedding beautiful dress. Is not what we would expect from a wedding guest invited to the wedding. He's got the holy jeans on. He's got the torn up shirt on that he uses to work on stuff at the house. It doesn't match at all. Jobin, what are you doing at this wedding? <laughs> heard, heard about the food, right? <laughs> <laughs> the master said in a harsh tone, the master got mad. Seventeen, fourteen, yes. Seventeen, fourteen. 
Many are called, few are chosen, but there's a third category, even fewer are faithful. See, everybody believes in God. The surveys also 98% of people believe in God. And you start talking about Jesus, as Arul talked about yesterday. It starts to go down, it starts to narrow down. But even fewer than that are the faithful people. Vishwasthiraya Dasin and Dasi and Vilikipuru and Ukunavir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we among the faithful? Is it just the crowd? Everybody's going to church, so I'm going to go to church. It's a great worship team there. Entertainment screens, awesome lights, and fog machines are there. All kinds of great things are there. I'm part of a crowd that's going to church. Is that where you are? Are we among the faithful? Are we among the few that are chosen? I choose to live for God. I choose to serve God. And I'm going to show up. I'm going to be faithful in the little things. Glory to God. When God looks down, He sees. He's looking and He's inviting and He's expecting people for His wedding feast. Hallelujah. In that verse, it says the wedding banquet was filled. This wedding is not going to have half empty chairs and a few missing seats. It's going to be filled to overflowing. There will be no seats available. Everybody, every seat will be taken. God's program is on the move. Multiplied millions of people will be there. From the day of Pentecost all the way until right now, today on 2013, multiplied millions of people call the Bride of Christ. Multiplied millions of people. John 2.24 Jesus knows who are his. Praise the master knows who they are. Have you responded, dear ones? Have you responded to the invitation? The call has gone out, the invitation has gone out. But the response is up to you. As we close and we come to the Lord's table, I'm asking you that question that Titus is giving us the answer to. 
What are you trusting in to make it to that wedding feast? When the kindness of God and our Savior, His love, showed and appeared to us, not on the basis of our deeds, not in works of righteousness, but according to His mercy by the washing of regeneration and the renewing by the Holy Spirit. The regeneration of the Holy Spirit. No one will make it to the wedding feast if you haven't been regenerated. You can be in church all your life, you can give and you can do all kinds of things for God and good works, but if you haven't been regenerated, you will not make it. Oh, hallelujah. Pastor, you don't know I've been in the church for 20 plus years. I give faithfully. I'm on the committee. I'm on this thing. I do this. I show up. I do all these good works. I'm like the elder brother. I'm always there. You don't know who I am. I am the son of Perish Hari Mataj. You know who I am. 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 If I haven't been regenerated, I ain't going to go anywhere. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. All the money, all the efforts, all the things that we can do is nothing if the Spirit of the living God doesn't regenerate us. Glory to God. What are you trusting in today? In the world, Sing the next stanza of this song. Hallelujah. 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 Hallel